Hi, this is Dr. Miller, and welcome to week six of EDU 671, one and done. Can't believe we're at the end of our journey already. Time just flew by. You know, for this week, it's one of my favorite weeks because you kind of get to express yourself. It's all about self-reflection and how you're going to implement the things that you've learned in this course, you know, in, in your everyday life, in, in your work field. So in, in, in discussion one, basically, you're going to talk about some challenges that you see that exist in the education arena. And you'll talk more specifically more about your, your research and how it might affect or impact some of those challenges or not. You know, in, in discussion two, you're going to talk about, you're going to reflect on the things that you learned in this course. And, 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 and you're going to share that with your neighbors and, 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 and some of the things that you, you know could have done better or not done better or whatever the case may be. And the reason why I like this week is because there's no right or wrong answer. You know, it's just coming from us. And it's a big, giant intellectual discussion where we just throw our things out there on the discussion board and we get comment and feedback back from our from our classmates. And, and what it does is it enhances our plan. It doesn't do anything but just make us better. So I really like this week. So you guys dig in and really put some great stuff out there like you've been doing all through the class, and I greatly appreciate it. You know, for the, for the assignment, all you're going to do is you're going to take that week five uh, uh, presentation that you did and look at the comments I gave you because I commented on every student's uh, discussion and you are going to um, um, just upload that into to your week six assignment place with those adjustments that you made of course from the from from the feedback I gave you um, make sure that you stick to that seven by seven rule no more than seven bullet points per slide no more than seven words per bullet point no paragraphs on the slides and don't read the slides to us we can read you know but tell us your heart you know fill in the gaps and the blanks between the main bullet points with your narration Make it exciting and wonderful for us. And I'm sure you guys will all do a great job. If you want to look at an example, look at Shanae Starn's example in the discussion on discussion one from week five. Her, her, her presentation is fantastic. Hopefully she allows me to use that as an example for other courses. So you guys, I think that's all I have for you. Thank you for allowing me to be your instructor throughout this course. It's been a privilege. It's been an honor to walk this part of the journey with you. Hopefully you've got something from me because I've gotten a whole lot from you. So this is Dr. Miller uh, saying thank you for attending this course. And guess what? I'll see you on graduation day.